So I just create the ultimate AI UGC system that allows me to create any types of adverts for any products and any characters that you like in any styles using the latest models like 1, 2.5. Where I got to do is to key in the information that I want for the advert, choose the number of scenes, and set it to generate ads and very quickly the video will be created over here and uploaded onto all my social media platforms check this out you can see it's uploaded into all the different social media platforms and the coolest part is i can manage and generate all of these videos from my air table itself just like my very own microsess and in today's video i'm going to show you how i actually productize my ai ugc system and how you can do it for yourself as well so let's get right into it so how does this system work right over here i have three main tables the first one is the actor table and this is where i'm able to generate or upload new actors that i want to create new videos for me some of the actors i created like trinity over here which we then actually use for our adverts earlier on and to upload a new actor all i gotta do is to type in some information for example, I can say I want to create a new actor called Jeremy and I want the style to be UGC and the description could be something like a college male with long blonde hair and we can decide if we want to upload our own image and I can set it as no if I want AI to generate a new image for me and from here I just got to change the status to generate actor or right, I can see now the new actor has been generated. Let's open this up. Our new actor, he is a college guy with long blonde hair. So exactly like what we wanted, right? Very cool. And if I want to create new ads using a new character that I have created, I just have to create a new few, choose the actor to be the actor that we want, which is Jeremy. And then from here, I just have to fill this up with information. I give it an ad name and ad narrative and some instructions, right? For example, this could be for a Nike ad and I will give it a image reference. And I'm going to upload the Nike shoe that I have over here. I'm going to choose the number of scenes. So for this simple example, I'm going to choose it as only one scene choose an expert ratio and I can also choose the video model that I want to use. So I'm going to choose one 2.5, the visual style, I'll choose UGC realism. And once I'm happy with that, I just have to change the status to generate ads and it will automatically generate the ads for me right away. And the status will be changed to ready to upload once it's completed. And if you scroll to the end, you can see the video has been generated for us. So let's take a look at what we have gotten. It all starts here. Just do it. Right, pretty cool and it is a advert for Nike using the Nike shoes that we have provided as well as the actor Jeremy. And once you're happy with that specific video, all you got to do next is to change the status to upload video and then it will automatically upload the video for us onto all our social platforms and it will be updated to complete it. Okay, it's now completed. You can see the status have been updated for all our social platforms as well. If you take a look at our socials and refresh them, you can see the new video has been uploaded onto all social platforms with a unique caption as well. And it's super valuable, right? Because we have a system like this for any type of brands and any type of products, either for yourself or for your clients, making it sort of like your very own productized service. And this is something that's definitely in very high demand today because you can see there are actually AI UGC videos like this one or even like this one over here that's actually helping brands make millions of views and having hundreds of thousands of likes. And you could also use this to provide UGC adverts as a service as brands today are testing hundreds to thousands of AI adverts like this and pumping a lot of money to it because this is actually the new way of marketing, allowing them to leverage AI to build their brand and awareness. And all of this is done so using latest models like Nano Banana, 1, 2.5 and VO3, which are models that have already become super realistic and it's only going to get better from here. And this whole system is built with a no-code tool like any end that allows anyone without any technical experience to pick it up and build automation that leverage the power of AI. And so now let's go into how I actually build this whole system up. Now this system is actually built upon what I've done in a previous video where I built out the base of this specific UGC system. However, in the previous video, just like many other AI systems, whenever I have to use it, I have to actually execute the workflow from any end itself. So what I actually did as an upgrade today in this system is that I actually transform it such that I don't have to touch any end at all and I can just use it from Airtable itself. So in today's video, we're just gonna cover how we productize this system from the previous build. But if you wanna learn how I built this whole system up step by step, you can check out my previous video over here. Also, as I'm building up the ultimate AI UGC system, if you want to gain access to every single one of these blueprints and use it right away, you can join my school community link in description below where I share every single update week by week with the latest models updated for this system as well. So now let's go into any end to first understand how we actually transform the system. If you take a look in our previous system over here, for each of the generation from actor generation to generating the scenes, extending, rendering the video as well as publishing them, all of them actually starts off with a manual trigger or a schedule trigger as well as a form trigger. Because of that, it's easy for us to test out the system. However, every time we want to use it, we do have to execute the workflow from any end itself. Thanks to the fact that the systems I built are modular, the only thing I need to do is to change the trigger point for every single one of this system to a webhook. And what a webhook does is that it will be triggered from anywhere else with the exact 
webhook link over here. And by changing all of them into a webhook, I'm able to trigger them directly from Airtable just by turning the workflow into the active status. So let's go into the webhook to understand how this actually works before we go into Airtable. If you take a look over here, you can see there is a URL given here based on the path that we set over here. And it's sort of like the webhook link name. So for the very first part of our system, which is to generate a new actor, I set the path name to be generate actor and I changed the method to be post. And what this does is that every time this link get caught from another place like the Airtable, you will trigger this workflow to run. Now for a webhook, there are two different URLs. The first is the test URL and the second is the production URL. For the test URL, if we set it to this specific one, we will have to still click test event for it to actually work. And this is super useful if you're actually testing out your workflows as you're building it up. Now, of course, if you want to make it work like what we have done earlier, we will want to use the production URL link over here. But once we copy this specific production URL, we have to turn the status of the NAN workflow to active so that this different webhook would run without us having to do anything at all. And so after adding in this for the actor generation system, I just have to do the very same thing for every single other system, right? For the scenes generation, I just have to do the same thing create a webhook trigger as well, but this time change the path name to generate UGC, as well as the scenes extended, right? This specific workflow is to extend the scenes for us. If you are choosing to extend the advert to more than five to eight seconds, this would trigger this specific workflow, as well as the render video workflow. I will have a webhook here as well. And lastly, I would also have a webhook for the publishing system, okay? So once I have all of this URL, the NAN workflow is almost done. Just an update to those that have also watched the previous video. What I've done over here is that I also want to add in a new model, which is 1.2.5, which has been released recently. There is a good alternative to VO3 as well. All right, so thanks to the fact that my system is modular, I'm able to just add in a switch node over here and I add in the 1.2.5 model that allows me to utilize 1.2.5 whenever the model that's been set in the air table over here is set to 12.5 and I can choose this specific model to be used instead of VO3. And so these are two different things that I've changed for the specific workflow, creating a new path for a new model for generating the ads as well as extending the ad videos over here as well. Once we have this specific parts done, next up, I just have to go into Airtable to create this automation to trigger a webhook for the different status that comes along the way. So you can see over here, I have five different automations. The first one is to generate the actor. Second is to generate the scene. Third is to extend the scene. Fourth is to render the video. And fifth is to publish the video. So each of them would actually call each of these different systems for generating the actor, generating the first scene, extending the scene, rendering the video, as well as publishing the video. And each of the automation will be linked to each of the specific webhook over here. Firstly, to create this automation, what we're gonna do first is to create a trigger. And for the first automation, generate actor, I'm gonna choose the table to be actor. I'm gonna trigger it based off the actor status and the status will be generate actor. So this is how we actually triggered the generation of our new actor Jeremy earlier on by changing the status over here to generate actor. After this automation is triggered, we do have to call the webhook from any end. And so the next action we want to add in is run a script. So you want to click plus and add in run a script. And then we're going to add in this specific script over here. Okay, let's take a look at this specific script. So over here, I do have a script where I have a webhook URL. And this specific webhook URL is exactly the same as the one for generate actor. Right, this is the exact same one. So all I gotta do is to paste in the URL and then I will send the method to be post. The content type is application JSON. And what this does is it will call this specific webhook and run this workflow to generate a new actor for us. And once this is done, we are good to go for the very first automation. And from there, all I gotta do for the rest of them is actually pretty much the same. So for generating the first scene, I want it to be triggered by the status from the main ad table when the status is generate ads. If you go into the main ads table, you want to go into status and you want to set the status to generate ads over here. All right, and that would trigger the first scene to be generated for our advert. And so if we go back to automations, what we want to do is to have run a script again, open up the code and you can see this time I changed the webhook URL to the second one, which is for generate UGC, the one that we have over here. Okay. And pretty much the rest is the same. The next is to trigger the extended scenes workflow, right? And this time we want the status to be first scene done and it will call the other webhook as well over here. Extend UGC, same for render video. Let's open this up. And here we have it, render video. And then for publish video as well, 
open this up we have one for post UGC and that's what allows us to publish the video based on this specific new automation. And this is when status is set to upload video and that's what we have done earlier. By changing the status from ready to upload to upload video, we will be able to upload the video directly onto our social platforms. And just like that, just by adding these two features, the webhook as well as the automations over here and turning it on, I'm able to transform this UGC system into a productized system where now I can allow users to use it directly from Airtable itself without having to go into the back end of everything on any end. And that I believe is a new way for anyone to launch productized applications by solving problems first, launching fast and getting market validation before actually converting it into a full-fledged coded application. And so if you're interested to build your very own content systems like this and stay ahead with the latest updates and make AI work for you, you can join my school community where I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to build content automation systems like this using any end, as well as all the latest content system blueprints that you can just plug and play. And lastly, everything I document to building out the ultimate AI UGC system that you can use it for yourself or use the same steps to build your very own productized system. With that being said, I hope you found this video valuable. Do give it a like and subscribe if you like videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.